We're back! God damn it. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Idiot Lovers. <laughs> yes. Today is a very special day. Yes. Progressive scan mode has been turned on, guys. Very important information. You want to tell them the amazing movie we saw? We'll talk about that once we get into the Let's Play. For now, why don't you go ahead and tell them what you're doing? we are playing the first ever Sonic that I ever played. Go over one, two, two. A. A. Go over to Team Rose. Okay, here we go! So Sophia has shown an interest in learning how to play the Sonics. So I'm starting her off on one that I think is probably the most beginner friendly, because it's a lot like a puzzle game. And by that, Sophia, I mean... You've got, like, pretty much up off of obligatory 13-year-old upskirt. <laughs> nope. An obligatory 8-year-old upskirt. I love this part. <laughs> okay, Sophia. So. There we go. So, yes. Sophia is learning Sonic Heroes. You will learn a lot. Okay, are you ready to start? So, A to jump. Yeah, so we saw Sonic movie Ghost. So basically, whenever you see those, you should press the X and Y buttons to switch to that type. So jump up and move on to the speed gate. Okay. This is the formation change. The leader yes. So yeah, oh my god, Sophia. What did you think of Sanic movie? Oh my god, it's amazing. Yeah? Yeah. You liked it? <laughs> uh, it was pretty dang good. Ah, oh, man. So, yes. Sophia is carrying on the fine tradition of playing Sonic Heroes. So, did you learn what you're saying? So, jump and press it in the in the sky. Ooh, what is that, Sophia? I don't know, what are those circular objects? So press A and then press A again while you're here. That's a homing trap. You don't always want to do it, Sophia, obviously. You don't want to spin him. This game is kind of like a rhythm game in a way. Because your homing attack, you actually want to time it. Because then you do it better if you actually time your attack instead of just spinning it through. You're starting to get the hang of it, this. Can you jump across that gap? Yay! Awesome. Listen carefully. Using rocket excel. If you release the B button before everyone is together, you'll do a completely different attack. So be careful. Now let's try it. 
So press B to get everybody together. Now press it. He kind of did it. Yeah, so power cores is basically your leveling up, so if you, you level up by doing pretty basic stuff, honestly. So you get those little Oh, go back and get your lightning core. And now hit the spring that isn't lit up, and if you hit all three sections of the spring, you get things. Now, press Y to switch to flight. Okay, and shoot with the E button. Like, you know, probably when you're facing them. Or B. See? Now you're stunned them now if you switch back over to speed. You can actually. There you go. Now you can warn me. Next, I'll explain the flyer formation to you. Next, I'll explain the flyer formation. Change the leader to the character in the yellow symbol. When the character in the, this formation... Yeah, so pretty much... Cream is your flyer. So if you press A again while you're... Like, jump up, and then press A while... It, like, jump, holding A, and then... Here we go! Yeah, see? Then you'll be able to fly high. Press the A but you've only got that limited time to, uh... Oh, Let's try flying off that cliff now. Here we go. There you go. Getting the hang of it. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, just barely big enough. Now you can sure fly over that gap right, right there. The right the gate, pay attention to the gate. <laughs> and fly! Yay! Now, Thunder Shoe is what I was telling you to do earlier, because it's skip out of the, the B button one. Now you can switch over to Fly, and, or Heavy. Yes, if you press B as big, you can belly slam. Ooh. You can also shoot while you're in the air, too. Yes, yeah, so you do not want to hit it. That is a good piece of advice for you. There you go. Now fly up there. Oh, now you're gonna learn about power. I'll now explain the last formation called the power formation. The power formation is useful to crush the enemies and rocks. First, change the leader to the character in the red symbol. So press Y. There you go. Whoop. Try pressing the B button and destroy those big rocks. So press B and you can actually break all of the crates and stuff. Power formation is good for getting rid of like obstacles and fighting with some of the enemies. Excellent. Okay, now hey, let's try to get all those enemies over there. Ask questions to me with make sure they Oh, go get that power bar behind you. Oh, looks like a cream gun. Nope. Yeah, see? Now that means that cream is level 3. So her attacks do extra damage. So, press it again after you've thrown everybody. Like, throw, throw, and then press it back. Throw, throw. And then you've got your... Oh, that's cool. Yep. And then, oh, go get the speed. You always want to get those cores because they level you up. Ooh, now it's going to teach you Team Blast, so I would say go, like, press Y. So, yeah, I'm gonna say press Y now. So the Z button are the top ones. Or no, sorry, the triggers. Oh. 
either side does it. Press it now. Oh, yeah, there you go. Was it the... It was like this. Okay, yeah, so it was the bomb. Ooh, and then you go get that container over there. That contains a new team blast. Ooh. That you can use in the future. And now, all three of your team are fully powered up. Hi. What are you going to be doing? <laughs> or perhaps Amy's little. No cameras. Okay, so now we move on to the first actual level Seaside Hill. Do you like speed, power, or fly the best so far? Um, I like power and fly. So go through either of those two gates, and it'll put- If you go through a gate, it'll automatically put you to whatever it is. So just pick one. It didn't matter, really. This is the tutorial world still, pretty much. So now it says you want to be powered here. Break those blocks. There you go. And now it says you want to be either speed or fly for this part. Okay. Now fly up there. Ooh. You have to be careful with when you start it. That's fine, you've got a ton of lives right now. We were go pursuing stop if Nash Four Tails is bleeding to death just a sec. I've got one more wall to check. Yeah, so I would suggest using those platforms. There you go. Now switch over to speed. And now you can bounce off of like jump and homing attack onto one of them. Oh. <laughs> Filming attack is the A button again. Okay, sorry. It's fine. You're learning. I'll do my best. Here we go. I'll do my best. Yeah, as I said, those gates will automatically put you in the right formation. And as you can see, sometimes you can skip certain sections if you're smart enough. But the signs will always guide you in the easiest way possible, as far as, like, to figure out. Here we go! Here we go! Yeah! Look out! So yeah, so switch over to speed. Face so it. A. So just A, A. A, a jump man. Then, ah. If you're, if you're not spamming it, but you're just, like, okay. So if you're, like, calm about it, so, like, A, A. Ah, here we go. A. A. Okay, apparently my friend's gonna help. A. A. You can kind of like chain it off of each other. Here you go. It's not like it mattered. Just keep moving forward. Because if you spam it, that means that you'll become vulnerable to attack. But if you're careful with your homing attack, you won't. So, on, in general, the power formation is the, like, sort of the average formation. I would not suggest opening that one to give it a because that would be the whole thing to teach you about right now. Yeah, so as I said, just keep moving forward. Okay. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah, so, you can jump up there. Any formation. Again, you hold the button so like, instead of immediately pressing it, just hold. Here we go. 
Now. So this is the bobsled section. You'll run into these sometimes, you can move left and right and jump with the eight button. It's pretty basic. There you go, good job. This is now good game. Next, move on. Yeehaw, cowgirl. Yeah. So that is the checkpoint. Hit it, and whoever you hit it with gets a level up. And also now, if you die, you spawn there and start back at the beginning. Or P to shoot. Okay, now you can switch over to speed, or to fly yeah, speed or power and hurt them while they're on the ground. Yep. I was gonna say, if you were power, you could break that. And then, you know, they would spring underneath it. Ooh, here's some enemies. And if you hold A right there... Oh, the umbrella! I remember! Yeah. I would suggest... While the umbrella is nice, do not, uh... Oops. Yeah, I was gonna say, make sure that you don't hit an enemy with it, because you'll get hurt yourself instead. Just keep moving forward. That's, the game will always kind of point the camera in the right direction for you. Like, especially early on, later on in the game. There you go. Now, boing. And then if you hit that, it will shoot you forward. Now it was saying, yeah. Yeah, they were saying fly might be easy to get over the gap with, but you can just fly. Here we go. Oh, look at that! You got all fly. And don't worry, game overs in this game mean pretty much nothing. The only thing is, if you had a checkpoint and a level, you have to restart the level. So, so that's barely a problem. On you are! With his tail in the ocean, no, don't wanna cause a commotion. Okay, so now just fly four. Oh shoot! Nope. Okay, it's fine. Look at where it saved you. Right here, so you're barely off of anything. Run forward. Hit that, and if you go through those rainbow rings, it'll push you forward a little bit. Too. It says you want to be fly through this. Okay, try to get that bullet. Because you do not. Okay, this is good. We don't have any rings. Sophia, how am I supposed to get. Hey, where did you get the ring? Again, don't. Don't touch the enemies in fly formation. Use Thunder Shoot. Turn around and keep. There you go. Now you're thinking with portals. There you go. Now, if you touch that one, you get five rings. Yeah. Here we go. And so, in general, Sophia, when you're in speed, don't press B. Ooh, here you go. Fly power. Oh, and that is the end of the level. So if you hit that goal ring, you win. Yeah, yeah. We did it! We did it! Yes. Hey, the speed formation, you want to use um, homing attacks. Because homing attacks are the best. When, you ch when you're in fly, you want to use a thunder shoot. When you're in power, well, Depends on the situation. Oh! All you die, let's be honest. That's like, what happens when you die in a game. I don't like when, when games grade you for some reason. 
phone. You know why they're grading you? Because your teachers won't it in online school half the time. <laughs> Seriously, that lie to teachers just not bother doing their job half the time in online school. So that is a power gate. You have to use power to break it. So smack it. And it's paint job. Ooh, look at that. There's some bad guys. Power's good because he blows up in them super fast. Oh, you! You! Yay! Good job. Okay, now use his umbrella, and then he can get up on those currents. He pressed B while he had the air is good. Hopefully that belly flop for him. Good. Hook boo. Okay. Like jump and press the B button. Just I like it. Jump and be. Jump and be. And you can just spam that in. You know? <laughs> so you, you feel like. Do you want to be fly or speed for this part? Okay. Here we go. If you press thunder shoot, you can get those things up. Okay. And now you're down here. Ooh, there's a fight for it. Who get that over? You always only get the orbs. They give you points. Oh, cool. Wow. I'm so serious. Um, but you want to go through the thing. I'm trying. Okay. Don't jump <laughs> randomly. Go back where you can't be on the. There you go. Now you gotta get the hang of it. You gotta get speed right now. Yeah, so go down here. This is the speed path. Fast bolt. Ooh, the lilies broke down. You have to either break him or go around him. Make sure you hit that left like, thingy. And then it pushes you forward. So what do you think of Big so far? <laughs> Right, please. Do you think that's what uh Max's dad or Max's mom was saying? Right, please. <laughs> You're like, boy, you better be writing the stories or something. Look at all the huge turtles. Sweetie, like that Make sure you hit your checkpoint. <laughs> Go yeah. Make sure you always hit that checkpoint just when you speed that. So the thing with the cannons are, if you're in speed formation, 
and apply for it, and they will send you to a place. If you're in power, you have to maneuver it yourself, so it can be a bit difficult. Metal crates can only be broken by big people. So, there's gonna be a switch for that somewhere. You gotta find it on this island. There it is. As I said, you gotta kind of press it. Hey, hey, hey. Nope, don't be moving your can or can too much because then you'll go off course. You have to press it one for each of you. That case is being guarded by so much. Take them out first. Ooh. <laughs> that was kinda funny. Ooh. There's just a spring there, you can just jump up and hit it. Hold your button, and then you'll jump higher. Spam, just hold the button for a while. See? Then you go higher. And you can move while you're holding. There you go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Like I said, I've never seen somebody follow this path before, so it's kind of interesting. Yeah. Yay! Now, it's just a simple combat. Oh, now I just fly to the goal. used to holding the A button and not jumping over the things. <laughs> I know if you like to do that. You're like, oh no, there's a thing. I must jump over it. Which makes me wonder. In real life, do you like to jump over a lot of not things? Too bad, I guess. But yeah, as a kid, we could like never get past the fourth world, so. We sucked at the time too, Sophia. No, but as I said, these are just kind of things you have to like kind of like you just hold your A buttons more and more or less rely on. Yeah, it'll... yeah it's just things that you learn, like any Kind of like how you can do a lot of the fighting in Tomb Raider a hell of a lot better than I can. <laughs> I can't deny it either, so yeah, I kind of suck at the fight. Ah, so here she's gonna land on the island, switch to your power, and fight him hard. Ooh. Make sure you grab a ring before you fight him, or else you might die. So that's it, you wanna have a ring. Oh. The rings count as your health. We're up. You can count on that is what happens when you get a game over. The game just poops you out there. Mm. You're just back to the boss fight, so it's not like you lost anything. I don't know, I'm just having a chance. Oh. Well, because you're like, hmm. Yeah, you didn't lose your lane, I guess. Okay, it's not gonna let you skip for some reason. I love the egg hop. This is like one of my favorite fights in the game. So after you're done with this, I wanna show you some fun stuff about this fight, because I think it's kinda cool. 
Let's see. Yeah. Oh no, you ran too fast and so we left the island. You have to do a whole loop of the world before you get back there. How good you hit the island, go run over there and become big. I don't know if you left again. Yeah, you'll want to be speed while you're running along here just so that you can get to them faster. Oh, it changed! Mm -hmm. Well, now that he's at the island, now you can speed him up. It's fine, you have two rings, you don't need any more. As long as you have one ring, you have to punch the shit out of him. Stop again. What are you being a little brat, Sophia? He's not gonna stop on the island anymore and keep running. He does this sometimes. Just run around the circle again with him. It's not like you're on a time limit. Oh, you're right. We have officially run out of space and now we are corrupting over the data. How? How? I call hacks. That was the game glitching out on me, Sophia. Not work yourself at all for that. So, Sophia? Here we go. Uh huh. Yeah, there you go. I think go over there and get him with your umbrella. I love that. Not umbrella, your fishing rod. Now he's moving on. So just fall into the next one. So I actually slow down here so we can this. There we go, now he's on the island. Yeah, because if you get to the island before him, he gets mad at you. You got rings, so. though. Because you're hitting the other buttons up here, don't press A. As big you want to be on the ground at all times. So power is only good on the ground, fly is pretty much only good in the air, and speed, if you're doing homing attacks, you're good in the sky, otherwise you're good on the ground. Ooh, here, once you get to the island, press the Z button. That one. Now that's gonna deal a bunch of damage to him. There you go, now you can punch him because you're invincible. Yeah, look at that. Boom! This isn't the end! Woohoo! Let's try to figure out why the buttons were like changing. They weren't really changing per se, it's just, you're, you know, you're not used to. That was a fun. huge birdie. As you play more, you get more used to it. But here, I wanted to show you something cool about this boss, because you didn't really get the chance to 
I sit around with it. Also, yes, I know, Grand Metropolis, you are a thing. Amy, are you sure Mr. Sonic is here? No doubt about it. My heart is never wrong. Then it must be so. I'm counting on you guys. Oh, gosh, dang it. You did actually flip them. So if you press the select button on here, it literally flips A and B, so. Oh. In general, don't press down here. Because you might accidentally flip it. Yes, I know, you're going to Oil Island. Josh. You two ready? Warning. Immediate destruction if distracted. Immediate destruction. Keep up with me. We hope you can keep up with me. I would, Shadow. I'd love to keep up with you. <laughs> but I didn't mean to start you in the first place. B. Challenge. Wait, is that you replay your levels? So something cool with Egg Hawk is... Okay, here we go. Okay. See how he's got like his wing things? He can actually take advantage of that fact. Shoot those. Okay, are not up here. Over here, now that he's on the ground. Now what we can do is hit his little guns and his wing things, and then he actually slows down if you blow up these. So then he's slightly easier to catch up with. Yeah, see, and then he can't move either. Yeah, see, and now his guns are gone too. That's slightly easier. And if you haven't noticed too, when I'm doing it, I tend to hold out my jumps a bit longer. Okay. See, I'm kind of like slowly hitting it for these. Because homing attacks work better when you're very slowly doing them. But now, big. Screw you, Aggie. Oh. 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 Yes, you can literally bounce for everything. Oh. Oh. Ow. Oh. oh, and now I get to do this to finish him off. Oh, he's still got four more health. I love this. That was a huge birdie. That was a huge birdie, Sophia. <laughs> Did you like the birdie? Did you keep your eyes on the birdie? Uh, Wanna try a little bit more? Oh yeah. Sure. Because we've already finished off what could be an episode, or we could do another three level buddy. All right then guys, this has been Idiot Sophia and Henry. <laughs> Bye. And I'd like you guys to, uh, to remember this. Be nice to her. She, she is learning. And also, much like Amy Rose, she is 13. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and just like Big the Cat, I will stare unblinkingly at them forever. <laughs> Alright, bye.